you can use Altrix in conjunction with Teradata's Unified Data Arch Architecture to direct in-database analytics across both Teradata and Aster Data. In this example, we're going to look at a retail analytical example where we're going to begin to profile all existing customers who have made purchases of a retail product uh, either in-store or via our website. In this example here, what we're going to do is look at two connections that are being made directly into Teradata. If I look at it, the first connection, we can actually look at how a query was being generated to execute in database via our visual query engine. Anytime we make a connection into Teradata via the Teradata bulk connector, which leverages the TPT API for quick access, a user is exposed to a visual query engine to help them rapidly and quickly build out an analytical query to run in database. The visual nature can be set up by someone who does not have domain expertise in SQL uh, statement generation. And as they rock, work through the visual query engine, the SQL is dynamically generated and expanded upon to run in database. The second query or in database analytical process that will run uh, inside of Teradata is a product correlation calculation. Our goal is really to determine if a customer purchases product A, what other products will they have an affinity or higher probability of purchasing. So is it going to be product B, C, D, E, or F? Also in parallel, what we're going to do is run an in-database analytical process inside of the Aster data environment. In this case, we're going to run an NPATH function to determine the golden path to arriving at a product purchase via our website navigation. The interesting thing here is that we were able to parameterize the NPATH function so that an end user does not have to have domain expertise in writing SQL MapReduce functions to be invoked inside of the Aster data environment. What we actually see on screen here is a self-contained analytical tool inside of the Altrix engine that becomes parameter driven, where an end user can specify the in-database SQL statement to run an NPATH function on. On the second tab here, you're going to see certain parameters that have been exposed to an end user that directly correlate to the NPATH function and some of the criteria that are used to uh, recognize different patterns inside of the function itself. In this case, what page inside of the website navigation actually constitutes a purchase uh, once a customer's hit done or they choose to purchase? In this case, it's the thank you page in recognition that they've actually made a purchase of a product on screen. We can also limit the number of combinations or navigation possibilities that people have made to return a count highlighting the greatest number of paths taken by an individual customer to arrive at a purchase decision. In addition to that, what we're also going to demonstrate here is the ability to leverage the Teradata R package to run in database predictive analytics leveraging R functionality. Okay? We do actually have an R console that integrates with the analytical uh, Altrix analytical platform, where users can actually call to or load the Teradata R library. They can build a data frame directly inside of the warehouse to perform in-database predictive analytics. In this example here, we're running a very simplistic function, just the TD stats function to determine different uh, statistical means against the field called price inside of the data warehouse. Obviously, a lot of these functions could become more advanced in terms of clustering and factor analyses that could be performed in database. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to keep it simple. In this example here, these four tools are doing the majority of the heavy lifting from an analytical perspective, again, across, across both Teradata and Aster Data environments. On top of this, what we've done through Altrix is we've actually encapsulated this best practice or visual workflow process into an analytical application. Data artisans have the ability to construct these self-contained analytical applications to parameterize the analytics so that anyone inside of the line of business can consume the result set and iterate through the analytics. They do this by designing a series of questions through a drop-down list where they can expose a series of parameters. And based off of the different parameters, uh, there is an associated action which dynamically updates the backend tool set. You can see here on my NPATH function, based off of specific questions in my analytical process, we're going to dynamically update the backend SQL MapReduce statement that's being executed in database inside of Aster. If I go to run this self-contained graphical user interface or application, we can actually see uh, 
uh, the parameter driven environment. We can go to the search area. In this case here, I can specify a geography to understand or better understand or help me to better understand who my customers are in this particular area. And we can also analyze a specific product category, in this case, the bike category. All an end user has to do to execute these advanced analytics once they've filled out the form is simply hit finish and the process will begin to run. The result sets will produce a nicely formatted uh, HTML document that an end user can actually navigate through. If they wanted to understand a little bit more about the geography of inches, they can click here to get an understanding and actually visually see a distribution of customers by mosaic segmentation inside of the Naperville area. They can also begin to understand the consumer segmentation and how customers in this particular area are spending their dollars on different sporting good products. They can also see which product categories they're actually spending their dollars within. If I come down further, we can also take a look at some of the third-party data content that Altrix packages into their system to create a demographic profile of the geography that was selected and or asked for. If we go back to the main page of the report, we can see further detail of the end path uh, analytical process that was run inside of AstroData. We can see that the most common path taken by people who navigate our website is simply by viewing product, going directly into the checkout, and saying thank you. At this point, we can determine best or different ways to potentially cross-sell or upsell across different products, especially if we know, you know what products uh, people have an affinity to purchase if they, are, you know, if they currently have something inside of their basket. In, in order to do that, we can take a look at the product mix and we can drill into an existing product type, in this case a bike helmet. If we wanted to understand which other products people had a higher affinity to purchase in conjunction with that bike helmet, we can scroll down and determine or see that people are pretty much going to be purchasing either women's bikes or men's bikes when they purchase that bike helmet. This could help us from a marketing positioning standpoint to help us determine what ads we should be popping up when a person is at their checkout while navigating the website. Or vice versa, we can actually run similar uh, plans in-store in to increase the purchasing behaviors of individuals in-store in, for, the, for the different product lines. This concludes our demonstration of the, of the Altrix uh, analytical platform directing in-database analytics across both Teradata and Astrodata. Thank you.